Welcome back on the Health Watch tonight. A new warning tonight about what may be in prepackaged food for babies and toddlers. An analysis by Consumer Reports found traces of heavy metals. Dr. Malika Marshall is here with us tonight to go through this. And the alarming thing about this, doctor, is it's pretty widespread. Right, so this was the Consumer Reports food safety team mm -hmm. that analyzed 50 packaged baby and toddler foods. So we're talking about things like baby cereals and snacks and pureed fruits and vegetables. And they found that all of the samples had at least one measurable heavy metal. Hmm. Two thirds of them had concerning levels of at least one heavy metal. And they found that the organic products really weren't much better than, than oh, the other products. You immediately think they're better. Right. But in terms of heavy metals, nope, no difference. Hmm. So, you know, over time, exposure to heavy metals can have an impact on a growing baby's brain and cause some cognitive and behavioral problems. But before you panic, Consumer Reports came out with some suggestions on how you can limit your child's mm -hmm. exposure. So that is limit their exposure to infant rice cereal because rice hmm. was found to have higher levels of heavy metals. Uh, limit, packet, limit, limit packaged foods for your kids. And, um, you know, limit fruit juices because mm -hmm. some fruit juices have been found to have heavy metals and we know that they're just wow. full of sugar. One more thing to sort of just keep your eye on, exactly. right? Out there, maybe make some of your own food. Right. Uh, more than half of all deadly allergic reactions happen at places that serve food, of course, restaurants, ice cream shops, and food courts. Well, now, Canadian researchers say that some of those reactions could be prevented if those places stocked EpiPens. And big news, doctor, that today the FDA approved the generic EpiPen. I know, that's great news. And hopefully that will news. cause prices to plummet yeah. because a lot of people have been priced out. Um, so this was researchers that actually trained security guards and staff mm. at two restaurants at a shopping mall in a city in Canada. And then they made those they're called epinephrine auto injectors or essentially EpiPens right. available at central locations in the mall studied for two years there was only one serious incident so they can't really say that this practice mm -hmm. saved lives but they're so convinced that that city in Canada has made it much more widely available in public places here in the US a lot of schools have these EpiPens but hopefully other public places will follow suit sure. there's a cost involved you've got to train people how to use them but as you can imagine if you're a parent with a child yeah. With these allergies, you want help to be immediately available. So many waiters make sure they know the Heimlich maneuver for like, obvious reasons. For yes. choking, it would only make sense if you're serving seafood or different kinds of food. An EpiPen would be a good idea to have around. And a lot of people don't recognize the signs of allergies, so right. that's why training is really important, right. too. Dr. Malika Marshall, great information as always. Thanks. Thank you so much.